back at it again with another video for my NICU series. Today I will be talking about having primary patients. The interesting thing is that I have never had a primary patient. However, I can still talk to you about it because I for the most part understand how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. In the NICU you can have what we call a primary patient. So you may say, you know what? I like this patient, I want to pick that patient up as my primary. So that means that basically every time you come into work, you will be taking care of that specific patient. And so you'll usually often have, you know, one or two other patients too, but because as your primary patient, that means you will be the main nurse taking care of it. So a patient can have, um, you know, more than one primary nurse. So they can have a primary nurse for day shift, primary nurse for night shift, and then there's like a care team, so like a group of people that know the patient well and may take care of it often. And so, like I said, you'll have that patient every time you come into work, um, except for certain circumstances. So let's say that there is a new nurse on the unit um, on orientation. So you may get kicked to the curb one night and you may not have your patient because it is a good learning experience for this new nurse. So the new nurse will have the patient along with their preceptor so that they can learn about the patient's condition or whatever else they may need. But other than that, for the most part, um, primary nurses usually do get their patients uh, pretty much every time they come into work, which is really cool because you really get to know the patient, um, you know what's normal for them, what's not normal for them, you get to know their families very well, so um, it really helps with the whole family-centered care, which is super important um, for babies and children in the hospital. So when you pick up a primary patient, you really do get close to them and their families and um, I mean honestly you don't even have to have a patient as your primary to get close to them. I mean if you take care of a patient in a few days in a row um, you really get to know them well and you get used to them um, and you just bond. It's like really cool. As I was saying before you know when you pick up a primary patient you really get to know what's normal for them and what's not. So let's say um, I'm assigned to a patient who is not my primary they may do something you know that I think is normal for them but their primary nurse may come in the next day and be like oh no that's not normal let me go talk to the provider about this so that's a really good thing about having um, a primary patient because you can pick up on like little tiny details and changes so you know what is or isn't normal for them so I've noticed that a lot of my coworkers, whenever they do pick up a primary patient um, they may do really cute, sweet things for, you know, their patient and the nurse, like they may buy them cute little clothes. Um, they do a lots of arts and crafts, so lots of handprints, footprints with cute little decorations and stickers and puns. Um, the parents love it. Also, um, when these patients go home, like I said before, they get very close to the parents, so the parents may send them, like, you know, pictures or invite them to the first birthday party. Um, there are even times when, unfortunately, a patient passes, but um, the parents may invite the primary nurse or the care team to the funeral. So you really do get close to the patient and the family, like I've said a million times already. The reason why I haven't picked up a primary is because, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of indecisive. Um, I can't decide, you know, who I want. Um, also, primary patients get picked up like this. So, like, we may get a new patient from L&D and literally, you know, the same day or the next day, the patient already has primary nurses, so they're already taken up. Um, I do plan on getting a primary patient soon. Um, it's very good to do that. Um, we try to get primaries, primary nurses for all of our patients. Um, we'll often get like a list in the email saying, hey, these patients need a primary, please sign up for them. Um, so it's something that I wanna do very soon. There are a few things that you want to think about before picking up a primary, I guess. Um, like you may think about the baby's gestational age. So let's say a baby just, you know, was born, just got over here from L&D, and they're a 23-weeker. So that's a very critical patient. Um, it's going to be very sick. It's going to need um, someone that really knows what they're doing. So, you know, for your first primary, I would really recommend a 23-weeker. Um, because you know you never know what's going to happen with that baby's condition um, so it may be wiser to pick maybe a baby that's like you know 32 weeks um, so like if a baby is 23 weeks and you decide to pick them up as your primary that means you're gonna 
be with that baby and in that pod for a very long time because that baby will not be going home anytime soon. However, if you pick up a patient that's like 32, 33 weeks, um, you'll probably only have a few weeks with that patient. So that is something to think about. And if you're like me and you don't have a primary patient, you kind of just get assigned to whoever. I'm pretty much just like a vagabond. I just go all over the unit from pod to pod. <laughs> Wherever they need me, I go. Another interesting thing about um, where I work is that we are divided. We divide our NICU into different teams based on colors. So um, I'm usually on my team's side of the NICU. However, because I don't have a primary, sometimes they'll put me on other teams whenever they need help over there and they just need a nurse for their patients. I will get assigned to those patients. Another good thing about picking up patients as primaries is that you can put it on your eval. So when it's you know the end of the year, and you know you're gonna go through your performance and you know do your eval, it's something that you can put down on there. And um, I guess it looks good. I've always heard about people putting it down um, on their eval, so that's something that I do want to look into and you know pick up a primary very soon. I'm not sure if nurses on other units also pick up primary patients. It's really only something that I've heard of in the NICU because, you know, all I know is the NICU. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do it on other units too, but it is something that I think is pretty cool, at least where I work in the NICU. That is all I had to say for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that in the NICU, you can pick up a primary patient, and I think it's something that's really cool. It allows you to bond with the patient and their families, and you just get really close to them and you know you just find a patient that's really special and unique to you and you're like you know what I want to take care of that patient pretty much every day that I come into work so I think that's really cool that we're able to do that so I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next video